under this one. Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. So every once in a while, I get my hands on a product that kind of brings back that feeling of being a kid again. And this is one of those products. This is the Catapult V5 from Through Night. It is an amazing flashlight. So when I say amazing, like literally, I don't even know if you can hear the excitement in my voice, but I've had this for about a week now and I don't think a day has gone by that I haven't been out on the back porch playing with this thing. Um, this is the pool area behind my house. Those reflectors that you see up there is the gate at the top of the pool, uh, the entrance to the pool, and that's probably 100 yards from here. This thing will go well beyond that, uh, but this is probably the furthest stretch I could get without you know, going down to our hunting property or something like that. This thing is so much fun, and let's see if I can get the camera to focus. As you can see, the ring is way up here, and as I bring it up, you'll see the bottom of the ring is right there. So it has a pretty good um, you know, peripheral light area. You can see it there on the camera, but the throw in the middle of this thing is insane. I mean, this is truly ridiculous. I've been having so much fun with this thing. I'm gonna roll in some video footage. I even took my son out on the back porch and we've been playing with it. To give you a comparison, um, the Through Night TN12 is probably one of my favorite flashlights. So this is it over here on the right. But you can see it doesn't really get down there. It doesn't really get down the road. I mean, it, it creates a nice, big, wide hot spot, but it doesn't throw like this thing does. I mean, you can see the beam on this thing. And I'm gonna point it up in the sky for a minute. It reminds me, every year we used to go to Yosemite and we used to go camping. And I remember having these huge mag lights that we would shine up in the air and we would have these beams like what you see right here. And we just had so much fun. I don't even know what I'm gonna use this thing for, but I freaking love it. Let's uh, reposition the camera and uh, signal some UFOs here in a minute. This isn't really gonna do it justice. You know, I don't have the best camera set up here. Hopefully you can see that crazy throw that it has there. I mean, it is just, it looks like those searchlights when the car dealerships have a, uh, a sale. You know, they're waving up in the air and doing this whole thing. That's what this looks like right now. I wish you could really tell. I wish the camera did it justice. So I basically just turned around and faced the other direction. You can see our pool area right over here. And there's trees about 100 yards in the background there. There they are, way back there. You can see the tops of them, way back over there. This is a thrower. Let's get that TN12 out again and show you a comparison. So here's the TN12. Again, I mean, fantastic light. I freaking love the TN12, one of my favorites. Um, I've reviewed two of them. This is the 2016 model. I've also reviewed the 2014, but you can see how that does and then how the Catapult V5 throws it out there. All right, enough playing. Let's get this on the table and show you a little bit more about it. So there are a few things that get me as excited and childlike as a flashlight. Um, this is probably one of the first pieces of gear that I remember really falling in love with as a kid. I mean, I got older and then knives kind of came into, you know, my realm of possibilities as I became old enough and kind of mature enough to handle them. But flashlights, man, I'm going to roll in some footage right now. Even had my son out tonight playing with a little stream light, tiny little pen light. And um, I had this catapult that I'm going to show you here in a minute. And he kept saying, turn the light on, Daddy, turn the light on. And he was swatting at the beam. And it's just, uh, it's amazing what flashlights can do to us. So anyway, the TN12, one of my favorites. And I have no shortage of through night stuff. I have headlamps, I have the TN12, I have a couple others. But today we're going to focus on this bad boy. This is the Catapult V5 from through night. Very nice, typical packaging from through night. The flashlight actually comes in a really nice sheath. It is Velcro, can also affix to your belt, has a button snap on it. 
very nice sheath. And that is the Catapult V5. Beautiful smooth mirrored reflector in there. It also comes with your typical O-rings and um, a lanyard and a little instruction sheet. But let's move this out of the way and let's go through some of the features. So the Catapult takes two 18650 batteries. Okay. You can either put them in from here at the bottom or you can unscrew the head off and do them from here. The catapult has a throw of 837 meters. That is far. There is, this is the S1 button, this is the S2 button. The S2 button is what turns it on. The S1 button then cycles through your brightness levels. When the light is off, if you hold S1, it goes into an immediate strobe mode. The catapult also has a lockout function. If you press and hold the S2 button for three seconds, the light will flash twice to let you know that it's in lockout mode. And now, if the buttons will happen to get bumped or pressed, it will not turn on. If you hold it again and release, then you're back on, you're back in business. This comes with a Cree XP-L high LED, has a very clear reflector. Like I said earlier, it throws 837 meters. And this glass is probably some of the clearest glass I have ever seen on a flashlight, which again helps it get that throw. It has a nice bezel, great strike bezel on there, solid aluminum construction, and here's your lanyard hole right there. Okay, let's talk about the brightness levels. On low, it's 73 lumens for about 29.3 hours. Medium is 310 lumens for 400 minutes. High is 580 lumens for 183 minutes. Turbo is your 1200 lumens for 91 minutes. And then your strobe is also 1200 lumens and will run for 100 minutes. That's it, the Catapult V5 from ThruNight. Um, ThruNight is, is quickly becoming one of my favorite light manufacturers. I have a few O-lights. Um, if you've noticed on the channel, if you follow closely, I'm kind of on a flashlight kick right now. I've done a few headlamps, I've done a few flashlights. I actually have ordered a few more flashlights that I'm gonna be doing very soon. I apologize if you're not into flashlights and I keep hitting you with these, but again, they just take me back. I love them. And through night is continuing to impress me. Everything that they do is not only high quality and you know absolute amazing brightness, but um, even the aesthetics of these, you get some of these flashlights that just aesthetically, they don't even look good. And everything that Through Night produces is just beautiful. So this flashlight is about $98, 100 bucks, and um, worth every bit of it. Like I said, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I, I've already got a couple lights in the truck and I've got a Claris in the truck and a few other headlamps in there. Um, it kind of makes sense for this to be something in the truck. Uh, I do remember my wife, she broke down and the sun was going down and I had to take my truck to go jump her, her car off. And um, it was around a busy curve and there were all these cars just flying up and kind of realizing at the last minute that she was broke down there and it was two lanes and they had to get over. And um, I ended up taking my Olight M10 and putting it on strobe mode and putting it on top of her car, flashing back down the road to get people's attention this would definitely get some attention. Um, they'd probably see this coming. It would probably bend around the curve and, uh, and they would know before they even got there. So that's it, 100 bucks, the Through Night Catapult V5. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button for me below and we'll see you on the next one.